Robert Parks here. Today we're going to be answering the question, does BitLocker full disk encryption slow down my solid state drive? Now I've been using full disk encryption since before BitLocker, before Apple's File Vault, and before SSDs arrived on the scene. And this paid off for me back in 2009 when a burglar broke in and stole one in a series of Lenovo ThinkPads that I owned. The drive was encrypted, the data was backed up elsewhere, and the biggest hassle of that event was getting the door replaced. But the lesson I learned was that you never know where or when a loss may occur. Now, having worked in healthcare IT for the last seven years, full disk encryption is something that we take seriously. And because Microsoft's BitLocker is baked into professional and enterprise versions of Windows, it's an obvious choice. Who doesn't like free? For today's demonstration, we're going to be using the Samsung 850 Evo SSD. Now this drive actually supports hardware-based encryption, but we're going to be benchmarking it with and without BitLocker software-only full disk encryption. But first, let's install the drive. Okay, so that install went pretty fast. Now let's prepare the drive we just put in by setting up a simple partition. By the way, I won't be trying to type and talk at the same time today. Instead, I've recorded each screen session and we'll overlay them as we go. Next, it's time to run a benchmark without any encryption enabled. I won't be disabling my ESET and iVirus or anything, as I'd never do that in real life. We're not going to reveal the results of the benchmark right away, but instead, we'll save it till the end. Next, let's talk about BitLocker options. This isn't a how-to video, but I want to briefly demonstrate that I'm using AES-256 and full disk encryption rather than encrypting only free space. So now let's begin with the full disk encryption process. So this is actually going to take a couple of hours, but lucky for you we can fast forward to the end. And just like that, we're done with the full disk encryption process. I've rebooted for good measure, and now let's make sure that the drive is using software-only AES-256 encryption, and that I didn't somehow take advantage of the Samsung Evo's hardware encryption. This screen confirms it. The encryption method would mention hardware if hardware encryption were in use. Now let's begin the second benchmark. Through the use of video editing, we're going to watch the before and after benchmarks complete at the same time, even though they took place several hours apart. Impressive. Now let's compare those results. BitLocker software-only full disk encryption does have a performance penalty, as perhaps you guessed that it would, but it's not huge. It's smaller than I thought it would be. Our overall read score using the AS SSD benchmark is less than 1% slower. Our write speed is 7% slower. For a combined 3.7% penalty for our software only full disk encryption. The access time score measured in milliseconds is the only significant difference that we saw and I'm not worried about a few milliseconds here. So in conclusion, when someone asks me if BitLocker will slow down their SSD, my new answer is yes by about 3.7% overall, assuming modern hardware, processor, and SSD drive. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please subscribe, like, or share if you're feeling generous. I do need to get to 100 subscribers in order to get a custom YouTube URL. Thanks, and have a great day.